Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Mel and today I am back with a I Saw It First haul. Let's just say I went all out. Um, I have not just one, but two very big and very heavy bags to get through with you. Um, just a disclaimer, if you're expecting anything along the lines of um, going out outfits, like dresses, jeans and a nice top as we usually put it, then this is not the video for you. Um, because I'm not going anywhere anytime soon with the restrictions. So I am all about comfort. If I don't have to wear jeans, I'm happy. If I don't have to wear some sort of a blouse and I'm in an oversized jumper, in an oversized jumper, then again i'm happy so that is what a lot of this stuff is going to be about so the way i will go through this video is i will show you all the items one by one first and then i will insert try on clips as well all the items will be linked down below in the description box so if there's anything that you do like and you want to pick up all the information will be there and um that's it, I think that's enough rambling. So let's just cut this intro here and get straight into the video. So for the first item, I am just gonna go back a little bit so that I can actually show you all the stuff and hopefully I can fit it in here. Um, it is a nice little teddy material cropped hoodie. I wouldn't say it's necessarily white, it is more of like an off-white, but hopefully you can see it better like this. You'll get a better idea when I'm um, trying them on and I will insert some pictures from the website on screen as well this is the softest thing I have ever felt the only thing concern that I do have when I'm looking at this is that it is quite cropped so I feel like it won't be the safest thing to wear outside because just with the pull of the arm you'll be revealing quite a bit to be fair but I'm interested to see how this fits. Um, so let's go and try this on. So as mentioned earlier, my biggest concern with this, okay, step by step now. My biggest concern with this was how cropped it is because of the amount of space between the armpit basically and the end of the body of this. But it's actually not that bad, like, it is dangerous. It is dangerous, so I don't think I'd be wearing it out if I'm honest. I just lost the drawstring, bear with me. Yep, and then she's back 20 years later, but I would give it this. It does come with a drawstring. So I think what you could do, I mean, I personally wouldn't wear it like this, but you know, other people would, but I'm someone who prefers a bit more coverage. But you could tighten the drawstring, tighten the drawstring, if I could get my words out, um, tuck it under and it's less restrictive because the tightness there stops it from going past the boob. So, I mean, other than that, I love it. I love how long the sleeves are. You could pull them up and just wear it like this, pull them down, keep warm and then tuck on the hood I mean if you couldn't tell I've got a thing for hoods and then the next item we have is this nice brown tan coloured cardigan um, it has got balloon sleeves and this is meant to be full length again it feels so nice and soft one of my biggest concerns when I'm buying jumpers online or cardigans without being able to feel them is that they would be itchy because these types of cardigans I would tend to usually wear with either a pair of leggings and a bodysuit or just jeans and a bodysuit and just chuck this on like no long sleeve tops but when it is itchy that is the last thing you want to do but this feels really really good quality I mean what can I say Second item in and I saw it first, it's pulling through. As I was saying earlier, this cardigan is honestly a dream. It's so soft, it's so warm. 
and so cozy like you just can't go wrong with it again it is more of like a brownie color so i just checked that in the mirror because of the ring light it is more of a brownie color it does i'm just pan you guys down a little bit it literally falls just under my just sorry just over my ankle so it's the perfect length to call a maxi cardigan and this one is a win okay so the next item we have here is a black trench coat um trench coats are something i've been after for a very long time but I don't know why I haven't really found the exact style that I've been looking for. And when I saw this, I just had to pick it up. It is a very lightweight trench coat. Um, it might be a bit too thin to wear during winter, but for spring, summer and autumn times, I think it would do really well. And the best part is it comes with a drawstring so you can easily cinch your waist in. So I find that with items like this, when you're able to cinch your waist in, it just look, it's just so much more flattering and hopefully this flatters me and i actually like it on as much as i do when it's out the packet i am in love i am in love honestly i didn't think i'd actually be keeping as much as i am so the length is the same length as the cardigans it literally just stops just above my ankles um it's got these little buttons here oh and it's got the thread inside it so if you wanted to you could roll your sleeves up and button them up and wear them as half sleeves the collar like and then when you close it and pull the drawstrings in oh, honestly guys i can't i actually can't get over it and then you've got your pockets like who does she think she is? Who am I? Open or close, like it just, it looks so good. It's so flattering and it's nice and flowy. As I said, it is, it is quite lightweight. Um, so I would say it wouldn't keep you warm during winter, but during the autumn season, chuck on a nice thin, jumper under it and you'd be good to go like it's actually not that lightweight so it's it's light in weight but then it's not lightweight in terms of how warm or cold it keeps do i make sense we'll stop we'll just move on we'll just carry on so the next piece i picked up was a maxi black cardigan so this one, I will be honest, is not as soft as the brown or tan coloured one that I picked up, but it is still not itchy. It is really thick and really good quality. Um, this one's sleeves are slightly different. They are more open rather than like balloon cinched at the weight, um, wrist sort of thing. So I'm really interested to see what this one's gonna turn out like. Oh God, that piece of hair. But um, as I said, lovely quality okay this this is just you know those cardigans where you could wear and just have it slightly off the shoulder and it just this i love this i absolutely love it again it is full length stuff it literally falls just at my ankle and um i think the best part about it is it's that type of material where you know when it just cinches back in and it's so flattering but then if you wanted to it's it literally is stretchy enough to like wrap around if you needed to or wanted to the only downside i would say about it is that it hasn't got any pockets but again i don't think it, that really bothers me this one is 100 percent staying i think i have to say it is my favorite item so far that i've tried on that like, i am really really impressed with how thick it is the quality it's not itchy i just i love it so i own a lot of hoodies there's no way of me justifying this purchase um but all i can say is i haven't got one of this color um so i just wanted to add something different into my wardrobe 
so here's the hoodie it's got a nice little writing on here comes with a nice pocket there's not much to really say like it's just an oversized hoodie but i'm all here for it i love it it just you know just that change of color like all the hoodies i've got they're either gray or black <laughs> nothing else and i'm loving this one i really i'm loving it yep not really but honestly i haven't got much to say about this one and the next item so with this one what i was planning is i don't know if you guys have seen but see how they're styling these white shirts with the vest style knitted cardigan sort of thing i don't even know what they're called but um i picked one up recently from primark which you shall see in my primark haul i'm not too sure if that's going to go up before or after this one but um i have bought one of those to wear with a white shirt and i hate to say but i think i have not had a white shirt in my wardrobe since secondary school now i'm 26 so that was a very long time ago back to school vibes and this is the shirt i picked up it is really soft it's really lightweight and i do feel like you do need a lightweight one just to avoid the heat rash with those knitted vests on top so i think this will do really so well. i am just wearing my sports bra under this shirt but i'm all here for it i'm just gonna put you guys down so it's not too oversized where it actually drowns you and you can wear it as it is but it's at a lovely length where it's giving you all the coverage that you need and i think i will be wearing this out very very soon again with just my leather look pants and then my ankle boots zipped up and a nice little crossbody a cro nice little crossbody bag and i think they're just good to go the next item i picked up i believe i picked it up in two colors and the reason for it is um during autumn winter black leggings are a vibe and let's be honest i will not wear jeans unless i really and truly have to <laughs> i just find them so uncomfortable i'm all about comfort so black leather leggings are usually my go-to um so i usually pair those with any oversized jumpers oversized jackets or shackets so i've picked up two jumpers which are both roll necks well they're the exact same jumper but just in two different colors um but the first one is a black knit it's long sleeves and again the sleeves do actually come in so this one is quite oversized and the one thing that i do like about it, it is styled in a way where it looks like the back is slightly longer than the front which i prefer because it just gives you a bit more coverage around the back without being too drowning at the front so yeah again very very good quality it's so soft and honestly um none of the knits that i've picked up so far have actually felt itchy and that is a very important and crucial thing for me like if you're itchy you are a no-go i could love you to pieces but you are not staying in my wardrobe because i just can't i just hate sitting there and itching my knitters have to be soft they need to be of nice quality right having the black one on again i'll just pan you guys down so you can see same concept again short from the front long from the back very comfortable very roomy easy to move around in easy to dress up or dress down but the only thing i would say is in terms of the difference is i feel like the black one just looks a bit more expensive and is more flattering compared to the beige one so I think just for that reason, the beige one's gonna have to go and this one's gonna have to say. But either way, I love them both. I really do, but I just think in terms of color, the black one just, you know, I just prefer the black one more. So this one shall stay. 
So this is the other colour that I picked up, which is the same as the black jumper. Um, it is more of like a nude beige colour. So nude knitwear oversized paired with my leather leggings. It's a vibe. So this is the roll neck jumper which I picked up in two colours, in the beigey and the black colour and this is what it looks like. It's got a bit of like a bat wing type of style. I wouldn't say it's necessarily full length but that doesn't really bother me. Again, it feels so soft and so amazing. As mentioned, it is shorter on the front than it is the back and I do actually prefer it that way simply because um, I just find it more flattering. I feel though, as though when it's long both at the front and the back it kind of just drowns you because you feel you look like you're just you know swimming in material and that's the main thing i like about this i am not wearing my leather pants. so i run out of storage <laughs> and i really got cut off but i'm back okay so i don't even remember where i left off but as i was saying i love this short from the front long from the back doesn't drown your material it's very nice and flattering and it's just easy to wear and comfortable throw on pair of leggings out the door hopefully they're able to fit in a way where it actually naturally sinks in and adapts to the shape of your waist if that makes any sense but i just feel a cinched in waist always feels it just adds a bit more to your confident feeling cinched in so we'll give those a try and see how they work out. Right. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and the teddies, but I've got a loungewear set here. Again, it's in that teddy material. It's really, really soft. I feel like when you're just at home, you've done your cleaning and you're just gonna lounge around on the sofa, you pick up your hot chocolate, put on your movie, light your candle. This is the type of set you want to be in. So, it is a black pair of jogger set. Oh, sorry about all the white fluff. It's coming from the previous white teddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they are a lovely little skinny fit as well. And they have pockets. And they've actually got quite a lot of stretch to them as well. And, 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 they have drawstrings that work. Right. I mean, look. We all know this is staying. And this is a cropped jumper to it. It's not a hoodie, it is just a jumper. It is cropped. Again, the only issue I have with these is they are two cropped. Like, from your armpit down, you've only got about this much space. So my only concern with this, this type of stuff generally is that arm up and that's it everything's revealed but i guess if you're wearing it around the house who really cares let's go put these on right this teddy set there's one thing i've got to say it is hot it is absolutely boiling hot look if you're someone who suffers from you know, feeling extremely cold during winter to the point where you're shivering in your spot where you're sitting, this is for you. Like, I can't explain to you how hot it is. Like, I feel like my whole body's wrapped around in hot water bottles. Um, but no, honestly, it's so cozy, it's so warm, it's so soft, it's not itchy. Like, I can't fault this in any shape or form. Um, it's got drawstrings that work, you can stitch your waist in. Like, you could wear this out as well if you wanted to, but I, I'm just not sure how much wear I'm gonna get out, with, out of it with it being as warm as it is. And I am someone who has the heating on 24 seven during winter. So I think it's just gonna be a bit too hot for me to chuck in and lounge around in. So I think I'm sadly, Sadly, I think I'm going to have to skip on this one. I'm not going to say much about this one because apparently I liked, more so loved, the idea of that teddy loungewear set so much that I actually picked it in. I actually picked it up. 
in off-white. I'm not gonna say much more. I'm just gonna throw these on and show you guys what they look. Right. I'm only showing you guys both colours just so you can get an idea of uh, idea of uh, an idea of how it fits and what it actually looks like. I feel like a lighter colour would show you the style a bit better. Um, but I have to say I am kind of rushing to get it off. Um, it is very hot. Again, very soft, I've got pockets, lovely, comfortable and warm, but too warm for me, honey. Just panned you down. As I said, they are a skinny fit, so they are lovely. Okay, so the next item is a robe. This is so soft, so soft. And I don't think I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> and it comes with a hood. Um, so I have actually got a robe already but it is in a light pink color and i don't know why but i've been dying to have one in white and when i saw this i just i just had to like nothing was gonna stop me the arms are nice and wide and it's got this nice little detail here and i think it just makes it look so much more expensive and so much more luxurious like looking at this looking at the feel of it it's fully giving me white company vibes and I'm all here. <laughs> Do I have to say much or does the smile and the giggling say anything? Like, let's just take a moment. Like, let's really just take a moment. Oh. Look, if you were to live with me, you would know that being cozy, being comfortable, warm is just everything. Who's gonna be chilling in their dressing gown this weekend? So let's picture it. Saturday, clean house. I'll be sat on my sofa with my dressing gown on, with my cup of coffee, editing this video to go up live on Sunday morning for you guys. Right, this item, I'm not actually gonna open it up just yet and just show you guys how it is as it is. Um, and then I'll just show you what it looks like when it's on. So when me and my husband moved out i actually didn't buy a bathrobe as weird as that sounds i don't know why but it never really crossed my mind and it's only recently where i'm getting out the shower i'm wrapping my towel around me you just put your arm up to brush your hair and put some oil in and boom the towel's gone so i've treated myself to a little bathrobe um again it is white i've got a thing for white robes but I love this little detailing around it, which is like a borderline and um, the tie up comes in that color as well. I don't know what color to say it is. It's like a dark gray, but we'll see how that goes. And I can already see that it's got pockets and anything with a pocket that is comfortable, allows me to lounge. I'm here, so <laughs> this one, okay. This one is actually, just a dream so um i recently bought myself a mug that literally says weekend on it and when i saw this jumper i thought it would be the perfect match for it it's just a black basic jumper which says day off is that just not cute but what i didn't realize in the pictures that i'm seeing now that the inside feels quite fleecy so I feel like this is gonna be such a lovely item just to even lounge around in or to go out. And it's gonna be really warm to wear. Like I just can't get over touching the inside of it. It's a bit of a joke. But um, yeah, time to get over that mow and just put it on. So this is it. <laughs> I already feel like it's a Sunday, but it's not, it's Tuesday, no. It's Wednesday while I'm filming this and I just wish it was actually Saturday night so that I could wake up in the morning, grab my cup of coffee 
in my weekend mug, chuck this jumper on, chuck my slippers on, and just chill. Honestly, um, oh, itchy nose. We all know the pain of an itchy nose when you've got a makeup on. Oh my god. Anyway, so it's so roomy, it's so comfortable. It is a slightly oversized fit, yet it's not unflattering. I know there's sometimes some oversized jumpers. Look at all the fluff from the teddy stuff. Yeah, I just know from like experience that some oversized jumpers can be so oversized that it would actually drown you. But this one is so flattering. It's lovely to lounge around in. I think I would even wear these with just a pair of skinny jeans chuck on some air forces out the door and it's a vibe i mean <laughs> might as well end the haul in my dressing gown <laughs> why not um thank you if you've actually stayed this far into the video and you've watched everything a huge huge thank you honestly it means the world to me um again i want to give i saw it first credit because since the last time I ordered from them up until now, there is honestly a drastic change in the quality of their products. I can't fault them for a single item that I've actually picked up in this haul. Um, I wish I could, because it would only be a positive for my bank balance, but at this rate, I think it's a negative. But my wardrobe is, you know, laughing from where it's standing. But, yeah i will be keeping pretty i think 90 percent of the stuff that i have purchased the couple will be going back just for the simple reasons that i've stated um when in the try on clips it's got nothing to do with the quality of the products they're absolutely insane but some items it's just too hot too hot for me i can't deal with it i'm not someone who enjoys the heat anyway i'm more of a winter person i'd rather be cold than suffocate in heat um and thank you to you guys it has been mind blown to me since uploading my last video the amount of people that have come on to watch um thank you for investing the time into it it does mean a lot to me and i would really appreciate it if you could subscribe down below and turn the notification bell on it does help me a lot um if there's anything you don't like if there's anything you want me to change in how I film the videos and how I show you the products, then please do let me know down below in the comment section. I will be reading through them. I am filming this for you guys. So if you're not enjoying it for a certain reason and you would want things to be tweaked around a bit, let me know and I'd be happy to work on it. And once again, I love you all. Um, I love the little community I've built on here and I will see you in my next